Hello and welcome to this lesson. So in this class, in this session, um, we will be reading through case study one of FAC 4864 2022. Um, so this is title letter 106 and we're covering case study one. We're going to do question one of case study one. Um, this question is a, a, a group's question and it is covering the profit and loss section. In this video, I will read through the scenario and read through the required of question one. Um, and then in the next video, we will um, attempt to answer the, um, the required. So question one reads as follows. The Cooldring Company, the Cooldring Company, Cooldring is a national beverage manufacturer trading with an international license. Cauldring is listed on the Johannesburg Stock Exchange and have investments in other related industries. Cauldring and all its investments have a 31 August year end. Okay, so that's important. So we know our financial year end is 31 August. That means it must have started on 1 September. So it is running, so a financial year runs from 1 September until 31 August. So they say the following trial balances are presented as at 31 August 2021. So this is most likely the current financial year. So if, if the if the um, financial year ends 31 August 2021, that implies the beginning of the of the year would have been 1 September 2020. So we have cool drink, which, um, which is the uh, so we have cool drink, we have pink drink, we have bottles, and we have slim water. So the balance sheet that we have over here, or the trial balance is share capital, retained earnings, mark to market reserve. So here we can see for mark to market reserve, it is only in slim water. Then we have deferred tax. We have trade and other payables. We have gross profit. We have other income. We have loan from cool drink. We have investment property land. We have plant and equipment, then we have investments. So this is bottle LTD. Um, then we have other equity investments. We have inventory, we have trade and other receivables, sundry receivables, cash and cash equivalents, operating expenses, income tax expense, dividends declared and paid. Okay, so that is basically the, um, the trial balance. And the trial balance will come to zero because assets equals equity plus liabilities. Okay, so bottled LTD. So they say Cauldring purchased 80% of the shares and voting rights of bottled LTD on 1 January 2015 for a consideration of 2.2 million. On this date, Cauldring obtained control of bottles in accordance with IFRS 10 consolidated financial statements. Okay, so in this one, two sentences, there is a lot of information. So what do we pick up? On 1 January 2015, that is when Cauldring purchased um, bottles. And on that date, they obtained control. So on 1 January 2015, that is when um, Cauldring obtained control over bottles. Okay, um, the percentage of control is 80%. So what does that mean? What do we, um, when on the, date, on the date of control, that implies from that date, we need to apply I for S10 and we need to consolidate because we have a subsidiary. So because we have control, we have a subsidiary and as a result, we need to consolidate, okay? On that date is when we would determine Goodwill. Okay, the consideration is 2.2 million. So Bottles operates a bottling plant and is responsible for the production of bottles and cans as well as filling as well as the filling they are. At the date of acquisition, bottles share capital and retain earnings amounted to 100,000 and 2.5 million Rand, respectively. So remember. On one, um, on 1 January 2015, we obtained control. So therefore, from that date, we have to consolidate because we are a subs we have um, because bottled is a subsidiary of cooldring. What's important on 1 January 2015, 
um, which is the date of acquisition, at that date we apply IFRS 3. So remember, IFRS 3 is applied at the date of acquisition in a business combination. So a business combination is when you obtain control of a, um, of a company. So therefore, at that date, um, we apply IFRS 3. The important principles of IFRS 3 is fourfold. So IFRS 3, um, the main purpose of IFRS 3 is to um, is how do you account for a business combination at the acquisition date? And IFRS 3 states that you will have to apply the acquisition method. The acquisition method deals with four um, steps uh, or, or basically four things. So number one, it is you need to identify who is the acquirer um, and the acquiree. Who's the acquirer? Who's the acquiree? Number two, you need to identify um, the acquisition date. So we already know number one and number two. We know Cooldring is the acquirer and Bottles is the acquiree. Cooldring is the parent, Bottles is the subsidiary. Number two, the acquisition date. In this case, the acquisition date is 1 January 2015. Number three, um, uh, what is required in terms of IFRS 3 by applying the acquisition method is that you need to um, you need to identify all assets and liabilities and you and you need to measure all assets and liabilities at their respective fair values. Okay, and then number three, you must determine. Uh, sorry, number four, you must determine goodwill. Okay, so that is why it's so important to identify. When is the acquisition date? Because at the acquisition date, you need to apply I4S3, meaning you need to measure all assets and liabilities at fair value, and you also need to determine goodwill or a bargain purchase gain. Also, from the acquisition date, uh, because we have obtained control, and we are, um, and that means we have a subsidiary, we have to we have to consolidate from that date. Okay, so here they say all assets and liabilities were deemed to be fairly valued at one January and no additional assets, liabilities, or contingent liabilities were identified at that date. Um, like we said, step number three is that you have to measure, you have to identify all assets and liabilities, right? And then you need to measure them at their respective fair values. So they're telling you all assets and liabilities are at fair value, and that there are no additional assets, liabilities, or contingent liabilities. Okay, so that's the importance of that sentence. In the previous financial year, Bottles acquired valuable land to generate rental income. From the date of acquisition, the land was rented to Cooldring for 11,000 Rand per month. On 31 August 2020, the fair value of the land amounted to 1,145,000 Rand. Okay, so what's important over here is that. Um, Bottles have is that give me a moment. Um, 